So my people are in a day now. Welcome back. This is your boy Gadam Slink. Welcome to another crazy video. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you guys are watching this video from. Well, uh EFCC just released the names of past governors who looted their state. So go and check that list. Go and check that list to know if your governor is among. But I know for sure Peter Obi is not among the list. Peter Obi not there among the list. So go check that list and check if the, your past governor is there on that list and the amount your governor looted. EFCC dropped all the names, the amount. We are still going to readdress this matter, but let's talk about a banker that was sentenced to 120 something years imprisonment <laughs> for scamming a customer in Nigeria. That's a really good one. 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 But we have a lot to say about that. How come? A banker can get 120 something years imprisonment for scamming a customer, but a governor or a politician can just walk freely for scamming Nigerians of billions of naira. Can somebody explain that to a two years old child? So this banker, uh, they say former bank manager, banks just 121 years in prison for stealing a customer 112 million. His name is Placidos, who was the former manager of FCMB Unicha branch, was sentenced by Justice S.N. Odili of the Anabra State High Court in Onicha on Friday, May 3, 2024. Placidos was arrested following a petition by Indimili, Micro Finance Bank Limited, to the EFCC. The EFCC spokesperson, Dele, who revealed in the statement on Saturday, explained that the convict was arranged on 60 count charges bordering of forgery, stealing, obtaining by false pretense and utterly. He said, on one of the counts, he read, Placidos, between February 29 and November 2014, in Unicha, Anabra State, within the jurisdiction of Anabra State High Court of Nigeria, with intent to defraud, obtain the fall, the sum of 112 million naira from Idimili microfinance under the full present that you have placed the said money in a fixed deposit account with the FCMB PLC for it. Okay, I don't want to go reading too much English. So if you want to explain now, this thing is good for this manual. We already know that 50% of Nigeria problems are caused by banks. If we can sweep out the irregularities in bank, I tell you, we have solved 50% of Nigerian problem. That being said, look, we just drop that one aside, though. Look, we drop that one aside. If I want to explain to my child that is two years old, or my child that is growing up, maybe he will be five. And the child said, Daddy, how come this politician stole? 10 billion naira, but he's working freely. Or he was just sentenced to a few months and the option of fine of uh, 20 million naira. How come he's working freely? But this banker that stole 112 million naira is in jail for 121 years. How am I going to explain that to my child? That in the same system that condemns one person for stealing, to 121 years, also freed another person that stole more money to six months in jail with an option of fine. Tell me, how am I going to explain that to my child? 
If they tell you, I say lawyers, eh, judge, don't go make everyone that is in a lie. <laughs> ah, how am I going to explain that to my child? When my child asks me, how come? How is it possible? How am I going to explain it? How you go explain that to your picking? Hmm? How will you explain it to your child? It's confusing. I will tell my picky, say, I don't know. I don't know. They say justice. But the same, the same hand that slapped this one for committing an offense, the same hand we kick, blow, like give that another person 12 slaps. For committing an offense that is more than the offense that person committed, that that hand gave one slap to. I tell her, say, I don't know. They call it justice system, but I don't understand the justice system inside. <laughs> I don't understand the justice system inside. But I just tell them, say, according to what they have been telling us. They say if you want to go freely in Nigeria, still big. So that if somebody is coming for you, here say you don't steal 85 billion naira. We say, ah, far they say you steal 85 billion naira. No more, I'll give you one billion. Tear on everything. You will run out. But you still want to 112 million, million naira. How much you want to give me inside? When the mother will spend like 80 million, how much you want a bribe? You are going to jail. The full rot of the law will clamp down on you heavily with an heavy sword. Ha! So, like I've said before, if you know. If you know your governor is here, they said the EFCC has listed at least 58 former governors involved in misappropriation, embezzlement, or laundering of appropriation, appropriate, uh, load, uh, or laundering, sorry, or laundering of money amounting to 2.1 trillion naira. You see, according to the list, you see late Abubakar Adu, 10 billion naira. TJ Oji and son, 551 billion naira. He will leave. 551 billion naira. Who is TJ, uh, TA, sorry, TA Oji and son? Oh boy. Yakaya Bello. They say 80.2 billion naira. Chimo Roki um, Unandi, 5.3 billion naira. Sovel Chime, 450 million naira. Kayode Fani, Kayode Fanyemi, 4 billion naira. Just go and read the list. The list are there. Go and check it to know if your former governor is involved. Now God go help Nigeria. The money made they don't collect for Nigeria. Ah! The money they have collected from Nigeria is too much, my brothers. It's too much. Ah! Billions upon billions upon billions upon billions upon billions. Now why? Now why? Now wow. Go and check the list, guys. And uh, let me just make this announcement. I will start sending money as at tonight. All the giveaway, I will start sending it one by one. I've seen some of you sending account number already. Don't worry. Tonight. 
is when I will start sending the money and, and, and I'll be marking those I have sent money to. So before tomorrow morning, most of you I don't get my money. So by tomorrow, I'll don't finish all the payments. So that we will wait for this month ending. This month ending. For those of you who have not collected, don't worry. I will ask you guys to submit your account. So that we can find something to give you. This month end you no money again. More need of finish. So this month end we will make provisions. That is for those of you who are commenting you know, that have not received. Now get this month ending. Hmm?